Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about the misconception of victims pressing charges and I hope by the end of this video you're going to see how important this information is because it could save your life or someone else's. If you're new to my channel, my name is Karen Cole from Legal Minded Friends and I assist litigants in person. What I want to do is play a video for you. It could be triggering, but it will help to set up what we're going to talk about with the law. could present them to a jury to show Cleany as a domestic abuser who ultimately plunged a knife into the chest of her boyfriend inside their luxury apartment in Miami. You literally talked to her without telling me! Courtney, I was on a bike ride and she passed me and I said hi. The cell phone. So what I'd like to do right now is play a short video that the CPS has created. It tells exactly what their role is. And then after that, we're going to discuss the common misconception. At the Crown Prosecution Service, we prosecute criminal cases. We review the evidence that the police or other investigative agencies have collected and decide whether someone can be prosecuted. We make all our decisions in a fair and objective way by following the rules set out in our Code for Crown Prosecutors. We ask two questions. One, is there enough evidence in this case to realistically get a conviction? Two, is it in the public interest to prosecute this person? Our role is to prosecute the right person for the right offence. When we prosecute a case, we present all the evidence in court and ask the magistrates, the judge or the jury to find the defendant guilty. We're independent. We're fair. We treat everyone with respect and we want to get the best outcome in every case. We are the CPS, and it's our job to bring offenders to justice. Well, the CPS in the UK is called the Crown Prosecution Service. The equivalent would be the DA office in America, district attorney. And they've come out with a statement that they want to clarify um, victims of domestic abuse or violence pressing charges. So the CPS wanted to give a message to victims of domestic violence or anyone who thinks they can press charges against someone. That's not how it works in this country and their message is they make the decision whether or not to press charges. So victims don't press charges, they make complaints. Because the CPS are the decision makers, this is great news for victims because they don't necessarily need the victim's support or the victim to be involved necessarily because they can use a evidence-based um, prosecution. So they can use CCTV cameras that might show something like we saw in the video. And they can also use recordings, which we saw in that video. And they can also use statements um, that are made by anybody who could have witnessed anything. Well, I don't know about you, but I can only imagine if whoever saw that CCTV cameras that were recording the uh, hallway the reception of where they were getting into the elevator, if they would have reported this to the police as it was taken only a few months prior to her killing him in the end, and now she's up for second degree murder charges, would it have made a difference? We would like to hope so. And if you see something, say something. Well, I hope you found today's video interesting and information is power. Why not subscribe and watch more of our videos? If you need legal help, contact Legal Minded Friends.